guys, so today we are going to talk about eyelash extensions. Um, I have been asked so many times by so many different people all kinds of questions about them, how I get them done, uh, where I go, how I take care of them, how I like them. So I just figured it'd be a really good opportunity to just answer all those questions in one fell swoop. So I apologize if this is going to be kind of a long video, but this is for anyone who is thinking about getting them and kind of what I wish that I had known before I got them done. Um, so I'll try to be as concise as possible. Um, first thing, what are eyelash extensions? If you're here, you probably, also, you probably already know what they are, but the process is essentially applying a false eyelash onto your individual eyelash. So that's why it's kind of a tedious process because the technician is sitting there and up, like applying with glue on every single eyelash. Um, and so like when you're laying there, you have your eyes closed um, for anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, it sometimes will be longer and it sometimes will be shorter depending on if it's um, your first set or if it's a refill and just how efficient they are. So in terms of types of lashes, you have synthetic mink ones, um, which are the ones that I have, and they're really soft. Um, these are usually in most places the base level that they will offer you. Um, I did have other kinds, I'm not sure, I don't think they were synthetic mink, I think they were just really plasticky. Um, I'll talk about that more later, but usually they're synthetic mink or they're mink. And mink is a lot more expensive, um, and it's just a lot softer, more natural looking. Um, in terms of types of volume, I have classic lashes, so that just means that they apply one lash on each individual lash. Whereas if you were to have 2D, 3D, all the way up to 6D lashes, then those are volume lashes. They use those to give you more volume. And that just means when you have 2D lashes, you're applying two lashes onto one of your individual lashes, three lashes onto one of your individual lashes. And that's what gives you that volume. Um, in terms of why I chose to get my eyelashes done, um, there are two reasons. I won wanted to cut down my makeup time. I found that I was running late to a lot of things just because I didn't feel that my face was fully ready and doing my makeup just took a very, very, very long time. Like doing my eye makeup, my face makeup, my eyebrows, etc. So I just wanted to cut down that time. And now I do my makeup in like five to 10 minutes. I just do my face and I do my eyebrows and I rarely ever wear eye makeup. Like this is me without any eye makeup just because I wanted to show you like what it looks like. But typically I would have to uh, wear eyeliner and do mascara to achieve the same look. And if you knew me at all for the past couple years, every single day I wore um, winged eyeliner. And so I am so happy that now I don't have to do that and I am ready to go like that. Um, that being said, I also wanted to be more comfortable with myself without makeup. Um, and that was just because sometimes I wanted to roll out of bed and look in the mirror and be like, girl, you look good, let's go to class. Um, and granted, I didn't need to have fake eyelashes to do that. I definitely could have gotten to a place where I would have been like 110% okay going to class and going to work without any makeup on whatsoever. But my main critique of my face without makeup is that my eyes just kind of fall into the background of my face. Um, and this isn't a problem for a lot of girls that have really full eyelashes. Um, and so that was kind of just my solution to it. Um, the reason is gonna be different for anyone that you ask. Um, and the reason should be personal to you. Like if you feel like you wanna get false eyelashes, like I don't think that you in any way should feel bad about it because like you don't like the way that you look naturally, whatever. Like it's a personal choice and those are the reasons why I got my eyelashes done. Um, so jumping into the next segment, um, where I went, I've gone to three different places. Um, my journey started back in February. So the first place that I went, I had a group or I bought a group on and it was only $40 for a full set. And I was like steal because typically, um, a full set will cost anywhere from 80 to up, um, depending on what kind of lashes you get, but usually it'd be around $80. Um, and so I was like, this is awesome, $40. And I had done my research, but um, not enough. Um, this place had like pretty good reviews, but they also had some bad ones. And I was like, usually when I like go to places with some bad reviews, I usually luck out. 
So I went and I really liked the way that they looked after. Um, I didn't know how they should look and that they could look as natural as they do now. Um, but the lashes that they used were pretty plastic. You like, you like, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you buy false eyelashes and they're like that kind, that that really cheap kind that's very very plasticky, crunchy, not soft at all. Um, that's the kind of lashes that they used on me. And the process took about two to two and a half hours long um, and I thought that that was normal like it's very long and it's a very large chunk of your day but I was like no like that's fine like that's normal um, and so I went back for a fill the next month and the third month my technician was pregnant and so she was on leave I went to a different place um, based on recommendation from one of my co-workers and this place was a lot more expensive the fill was $59 um, but I really, really, really appreciated this technician because as she was taking off um, my lashes, oh, I should talk about the fill process. So um, when you go in for a fill, it's quite different from getting your full set. It takes a lot less time. And what they'll do is remove um, some of the lashes that are like kind of like funky um, or that like are probably going to fall off soon. They'll remove those and then just like add some new ones. So you will have some old, some new. And so in switching between places, I would be careful because sometimes they will um, charge you extra just to because they have to do another technician's work. Um, so it's something that's unfamiliar to them. And so in both times that I switched to a different boutique, I was charged extra. Um, so that's just something that you should look into. You should definitely ask um, the new place that you're going um, if they have do have a fee like that. So basically I really appreciated this technician because when she was removing my false ones, she had to remove all of them. Um, and she told me that the place before had used so much glue on my lashes that they were all clumping together, they were all damaged, that's why they were all falling out. Um, and I have like all these little baby lashes coming in that can't support the weight of false eyelashes. So I was like, holy crap, this is awful because if you took off all my eyelashes, I probably had have none natural ones left. So what she did was like, um, she gave me 3D lashes without any extra cost because like I needed more volume, which I really, really, really appreciated. Um, and it looked so beautiful after. My lashes looked so natural. Um, and I was so happy with the work that she did. It was very expensive. Um, but I was like, this is awesome. I'm gonna keep coming back here. Um, my only critique then was that at three weeks, a lot of my lashes had fallen off. And it is quite, it's normal. Like it's normal that they'll fall off. But what you hope for is that the false lash will fall off and your natural lash will stay intact. Um, and that wasn't the case. I found that a lot of my natural lashes were falling off with my eyelashes, which had happened at the first place. And I thought that was normal, but it's not. Um, and so that probably was just because they were supporting so much weight and so much length that they couldn't handle. Um, and even though I appreciated that she made my lashes look so beautiful, I wish that she had done it in a healthier, more manageable way so that more of my lashes wouldn't have fallen off. So I did my research and I was really looking for a place that would last longer um, because three weeks just wasn't enough. I cannot afford to pay to get my lashes done once every three weeks. Um, at minimum, I was looking at four to five weeks. And I know that it's possible, I know that it's out there. So I did my research and for anybody that's living in Vancouver, I highly, highly, highly recommend Joanna Keller Boutique. Um, I'll put a link to their information, their website below. Um, but I did my research and they are incredible. They are so efficient. Um, I get my fills done in 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I've had three different technicians and all of them have been incredible. Um, and they last up to like four to five weeks. Um, by the end of three weeks, in the first place and the second place that I went, my eyelashes looked wonky. And there were like, there were a lot in the middle and then like a lot were missing from the sides and so it just didn't look very full like it was okay like it looked fine it wasn't like I had one lash sticking out but um I just wanted something that would last longer so that I could look my lashes would look good for like the span of four months and so I love them they are incredible um they have like a loyalty card which is awesome so like you go every 10 or every time you go for 10 visits you get I think it's a fill for free, um, I'll have to double check, but I've gone like five times and so I'm like halfway there, super stoked about it. Um, 
yeah, so that has been my journey and I absolutely love my lashes now. I would recommend them. I've recommended them to my friends and the only reason why a lot of them have hesitated is because it is expensive. Um, that is something that you have to consider because I don't think I will ever stop having lash extensions. Um, I have fallen in love with them and I just make it a part of my monthly, like I count it as one of my bills, which I, I shouldn't, but I do just because it helps me to com um, compartmentalize my money and just know like what my money is going towards every month. So if you can afford to do it every single month, then I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And you should know that you probably are not gonna want to get them removed. So it's not just like, oh, I'll just try them out for one month. Like you're gonna love them, I promise. If you go to the right place, to the right technicians. And this is just a classic. I've gotten a custom before. So that just means that they did a mix of classic and I think it was 2D lashes. Um, and I didn't see that much of a difference in the volume and I also just, didn't want a look that was so like bam you have false eyelashes on um like i wanted it to be passable i know that with asians our lashes are typically very short and don't have a lot of volume so it's not that passable but um i'm really happy with just how natural they look um i was about to touch them don't touch them um that leads me to my tips so i touch my lashes as little as possible like i if I touch them, it is gonna be with that spoolie. Um, if you don't have a spoolie just lying around at home, I don't know why you would, but um, you can go to Sephora, steal one of their tester makeup wands. Um, when you go get your lashes done, typically they'll ask you if you have one and they'll give you one for free. I mean, it's literally just like a, like a tester from Sephora. So that is what you should use to comb your lashes and you wanna comb above them and you wanna comb below them um, just to get the volume dispersed um, especially after you shower I would wait like so it's like half dry so they're like damp um, to comb them out because when they're wet then they'll still just clump but yeah when you are in the shower they'll clump together um, and you don't want them to dry that way because they'll just kind of dry wonky and then like starting from then till the end of the month until you go again like they'll just kind of be wonky um, that's what I have found and so that being said Try to avoid water as much as possible. I know when you're in the shower, it's gonna be really, really difficult. Um, and my lashes always get wet when I'm in the shower. But when I wash my face, I always just like go under and then I go above. Um, and then I'll do the same. I know it's hard because you wanna just splash your face with water, but I'll do the same with water. And it takes a lot longer. Um, it really does to wash your face, but by now I'm used to the process. And I used to rub my eyes all the time. I used to touch my eyes. I would have really bad allergies. Um, that's another thing. If you have really bad allergies and your eyes always get watery, maybe don't get them done just because you're gonna wanna rub your eyes all the time and you can't do that with your lashes because they will fall off. Um, so that's one thing to consider if you have really bad allergies in your eyes. Um, and so yeah, avoid water if you can. Um, use everything that's oil free. So like get an oil free makeup remover, face wash, etc. Um, and yeah, I don't know. They're not that as high maintenance as everyone makes them out to be. Um, even if you're working out and sweating a lot, like that's totally fine. I mean, they're, your lashes are gonna get wet, whatever. But um, they will tell you though, um, in the first 24 hours after you get them done, try to like avoid water because like your glue is still setting. And that includes crying. Um, I didn't ask them that, but I mean, when you're crying, it's, it's water. Um, and it's super weird because in like, there, were, there was like a three month span when every single time that I would get my lashes done within the first 24 hours, I would cry because I had a bad day at work because I was stressing out or something. And I don't cry very often, like I used, I used to, but I don't cry very often. Um, and so it was so weird that it was happening on that day and I was like, the only day. And then like me crying or like me wanting to cry and then like knowing that I had just paid all this money to get my lashes up would make me cry even more and it's so bad. Um, so yeah, avoid water, avoid crying in the first 24 hours. Um, that being said, I love my lashes. I highly recommend them to anybody who can afford them for every month. Um, that is really the main thing for me, I think, because I feel like anybody who wants fuller, thicker lashes wants to be comfortable without wearing makeup when they go out and wants um, to cut down their makeup time would fully benefit from getting false eyelashes done. Um, that being said, do your research. Um, 
always, always, always do your research before anything that you do. I should have done more. I did a lot on the process of it, like understanding how it's done, but I didn't do enough um, with knowing how bad cheap lashes can go. So I have heard a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, I got them done. Um, but like by the end of a couple weeks, I only have one lash left. So I decided not to keep them. And that just means that the technician was using too much glue the way that mine did for the first time or they weren't doing it properly. And if you go to a good place, I promise you they should last up to at least four to five weeks. And if they don't, then find a place that does because a place like that exists. Do not settle. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. If I left anything out, if you have any other questions still, leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.